Hey, what's going on devs? Welcome back to AppDev channel and another episode. In today's video, you will learn how to create a simple text type animation using only HTML and CSS, or you can also call that typewriter text animation. You may have seen this type of text type animation on many portfolio sites and a lot of different types of sites. Basically, this animation is created using JavaScript or jQuery library, but today I will show you how you can create this text type animation using only HTML and CSS. Hey, if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's get started it's really from scratch, okay? Right at the beginning, we have this folder, and in this one, let's have our files structure, our index.html, and also styles.css, all right? Simple like that. Let me close the CSS for now, and you have our index.html. Let me zoom out for now. Let's create our boilerplate. Once it's done, we come down here to the title and here let's say something like CSS typing text animation HTML and CSS. All right, and under that we need a link to connect our HTML to our CSS. Now let's make our markup. This one is going to be quite simple. First of all, we're going to have a div that's going to wrap around everything and the class is wrapper. All right, and then here it's quite simple. We're gonna have two text. Okay, one is gonna be stacked. Say I am. Okay, this is this first one? I am. I'm. And we're gonna have a second one, the dynamic one. So let's have a UL is more than one. So UL dynamic text is okay. It's more than one. And in here we're gonna have a couple of. Texts, okay. It's gonna be a lie, and inside this one is gonna have a spans. The first one here is gonna be YouTuber. Let me just duplicate this one three more times. For the second one here is gonna be a designer. Let's change this one for developer, and the last one here is gonna be freelancer. As I told you, a quite simple markup. So let's see the inside by side. We use the live server. Okay. As you can see, we have this very ugly page. And all we need to do is go to the next step and apply some CSS style. All right. So I'll see you there. All right, devs. And now we are in the CSS where the magic will happen. Okay. Let's start by changing the uh, font. The one we are using right now is not good. So let's copy poppings from Google Fonts. Let's import this one. And let's have now a CSS reset. All right. Let's start by getting rid of margin and padding. Margin and padding here is going to be zero. All right. Another thing here, box sizing, be bottom box. And we also want to have a font family. Let's use the one that we got from Google Fonts. Font family poppings. And there is as a fullback, let's have some serif in case of something goes wrong. And move on. We need to put this content in the center. So let's grab the body. The mean height here is going to be 100 VH. We have this we divide for 100 parts and we're going to use 100, all right. For the layout, we want that flex, so we can put the content right in the middle. Just find content center along the main axis, and align items also center along the cross axis. As you can see, we put right in the middle. Now let's also change the color, the background color. Let's pick whatever the color you like the most. I'm going to use this bluish color. And for the wrapper, let's also apply a layout display is going to be also flex and now we want to change the stacked text okay so dot wrapper static text this one that say i am we want to change the color so you can read it let's pick white 
font size let's increase that to 60 pixels right another thing here the font weight we want that to be uh, 400 and as you can see it is much better right now and now we want to move to the second text the dynamic one so dot dynamic text is ally and the first thing here let's get rid of those baller plates all right with list style none we also want to change the color so you can read it and let's pick a red color it fits our project the white with the white okay the font size here let's increase that to 60 pixels it's too big here right now let me decrease the zoom here okay now you can see it and the font weight let's pick something like 500 for the position is going to be relative all right so now let's come down here let's give apply some space in between i am and whatever we are okay wrap a dynamic taxes let's apply a space of 15 pixels okay imagine left of 15 pixels or wherever you think is the better for you and now we want to create the cursor okay in order to do that let's create a pseudo class dynamic taxes ally after okay as always here for the content nothing the position is gonna be absolute and we want also the height to be 100% and the width also 100% okay moving down here the background color we pick the same color of the text because it's gonna be the cursor and down let's come down here and let's create here a let me just delete this for now we've got the idea so let's have a bottom left two pixels solid and as i told you before let's pick the same color okay all right you have them but they are on the right let's move them to, to the left okay so in order to do that let's grab left and zero and yeah they are right in the beginning let me copy this for now and paste it here and let's have a position here is going to be relative coming now to the fun part of our project okay the the animation you saw in the beginning so let's have animation here and for the animation let's call that guess what typing okay it's going to be three seconds and let's use steps here okay and let's see the number here 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is 10 characters so let's steps is gonna be 10 and we also want that to be infinite we are talking about our type animation but guess what until now we don't have it so let's create that okay at keyframes let's have a animation let's call that guess what typing and at 40% and also at 6% something is gonna happen okay so let me finish here so left let's use the calc function 100% plus 30 pixels and as you can see we have this nice effect like a type right effect okay this by itself is nothing okay let's see now what we have at 100% at 100% we want that let me finish here in the we want the left to be zero okay in order to you understand that it looks like it's not nothing but you want tricky wise like this is a typewrite effect so let me show you here let me apply a background color like black to make it very easy to see okay 
background black and yeah that's what is gonna happen it looks like this is deleting and give the text back at the same time okay so all we have to do is change the background color here for the background color and now we have the impression that we are typing okay it looks like a type right effect just because of the color of the background all right this part is done so let's go back to our dynamic text let's finish this one here all right the line height here is going to be 90 pixels those numbers are very important okay and let's apply a background color so you can see what we are doing here let's pick this color orange okay and now let's give the height the height is going to be also 90 pixels this is very important here we're going to be using some math to show all of them all of this text okay overflow hidden and we have just one text okay but we still have a problem we want to show more than one so for now let's come down here and put our overflow hidden let's comment this out and work on the rest of the texts all right guys and now we want to really show the four words okay so you have to do that let's come here to a dynamic text top is gonna be zero always zero close to the im okay let's create a animation let's call that slide okay 12 seconds this step is gonna be four because we have four allies and it's gonna be infinite all right and you are talking about a animation but we don't have it so let's just create that okay so let's come here at keyframes guess the name of the animation it's gonna be a slide and in here what you want to do at 100 percent okay we want the top to be minus 360 pixels okay let me show you every step is gonna show a new word okay if i comment this out here overflow hidden and now you can see i'm a freelancer i am a youtuber i am a designer so you have this impression that we have a typewriter working that's all for today guys i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video bye bye and I'll see you in the next one